Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about how to create a flexible year-over-year -year comparison in Mocha Studio. I know for so many of the e-commerce companies, we directly link our GA4 property to Mocha and then to create a report there to visualize for the business need. So most case, we need to understand how does the year-over-year -year revenue performance looks like. So in the local built-in function, it does have a comparison date range here. So if we choose here for the previous year, it's actually helping us to look at the previous um exact date. So for example, if we are looking at February the 18 for 2025, once we activate these um comparisons compared to previous year, it will be the February 18 in 2024. But what if we actually want to compare to the same week, same weekday, but in last year? So this one we cannot choose by using the built-in function for comparison for previous year. Instead, we need to create a blended table to achieve the purpose. So the first step we want to do is actually to duplicate this um, table. So right now in this table, we have the dates and purchase revenue using the Google Merchandise Shop as the example. So if we duplicate this one, then we have two tables together and then we can select both of them and right click. So then we can choose blend data. After you choose that, Google automatically create this blended table for you. You can get rid of the two individual table for now. So now in this blended table, if you click the pencil here, you can actually go to the data source. So on the left hand side is getting the data from um, GA4 and the same for the right hand side. We can actually use the left hand side as the this year's performance, which is the right hand side is the last year's performance. So we need to create some moves here. First one, let's create a year. So we basically want the year to be one year difference, but then the week and weekday are the same. So we can add a calculated view here. Let's do here. And here on the last year, we want to do a last year calculation. Here we choose year plus one, so then the year plus one will be equal to um year this year so that means we are actually looking at one year before and then we need to have the week and weekday And then we also want to have the weekday. So after that, we want to configure the join here. We actually want to make the year this year equals year last year. And then we have the week this year to be equal to the week last year. And then here we want to have weekday this year to be the same as weekday last year. 
and then we can click save. So um, one thing that we need to focus is on the date range here. We actually need to choose custom on the last year's panel. Otherwise, the date range will be applied to the last year's data. So we cannot get the exact year over year comparison. So here for the custom, we can choose the dates that we want to look at for last year. So let's say we want to start from the 31st to January the 4th. So these will be the last year's date range. And then on these year's date range, it will be the same as what we choose in the date range control. And we can unhide the repeated join views. So let's save here. Now in this table, we can click it and then we can actually see that there's a date and we can also add in the date last year. And then we can also add in the purchase revenue from last year. So to be easier to monitor, let's actually call this year over year. And here, let's rename to be dates last year. And also here, let's call it revenue last year. Let's see. So after that, we can easily create a calculation as well. So we can add metric and then we can add a calculated field. Let's call it the over year. We can use the purchase revenue divided by the purchase revenue last year. Actually, let's do a sum here. So this way, we actually have the year over year calculation done. In here, for the year over year, we can change the format to be number, the percentage, and default. So if you choose to a specific given day, let's say if we're looking at January the 1st, then you will see that it's actually compared to January the 3. So for most use case, it should be able for now. But what if your company wants to look at the fiscal week? So for example, if they want to consider December 19, 30, and 31st to be this fiscal year 2025, how can we also have the year over year comparison here? Because if we change to December the 29th year, you can see that it was available to match. However, if you switch to 30, you will see that there's no data for last year. And same for the 31st. So the reason here is because if we look at the calendar, so in the 2025 January, so this is the week one for January. And then if we going back to the January of 2024, 
in the week one for the January 1st and January the 2nd is also the same year as 2024. So that's why the year comparison here doesn't match up. Because in our year calculation, we said that if the days range falls on the last year, we want to add year plus one. So that means for last year's date range for January the 1st and January the 2nd, the year of that is actually matching up with the year 2025. But the exact date we want to match it is actually in the year of 2024. So that's why it makes this um, not comparison. What we need to do here, we can actually add in our calculation for the dates for last year. So we can say So what it does is that if the last year's day is January the 1st, we want to use 2024 as the year, and same for January the 2nd. But for any other dates for the last year date range, we want to use year plus one as the year. So after we click apply here, we can save the blend. And in here, if you go back to the 31st of 2024, you will see that right now is compared correctly with the January 2nd and same as the 30th. So in this way, it actually provides you more flexibility even if you don't want to use this weak comparison, you can have the weak comparison to be more flexible. For example, here in the week, you can use plus one or minus one. It depends on how your company compare the year over year. So this is how it looks like to build a more flexible year over year comparison using Local Studio for the GA4 data. Thank you.